So I'm not going to talk too much about what we're going to do in this video because you obviously read the title and you clicked on it because you want to do it's in the title. You want to install uh, Anaconda and get started with Jupyter Notebooks. So I'm just going to walk you through that as fast as I can. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and go to the Anaconda.com website. Go ahead and click download here. After this is installed, I already have it installed, so I'm going to go to my file explorer here. Go ahead and double click on this. The executable file. We're going to go ahead and click next through everything here. And if you do already have an Anaconda 3 folder inside of here, you're actually going to go into uh, browse. You're going to right click on this and you're going to delete it. This is already if you've may have installed Anaconda already, maybe a different environment like Python 3.9, 3.8, etc. And you want to install it on maybe 3.10 or you want to set up a different environment with different Anaconda, that kind of thing. So we'll let this do its thing. So once that's done, we can go ahead and click cancel here and then we can just go ahead and click next and this will work. Uh, just leave this one checked for now. Go ahead and click install. So after that's done, after the installation is complete, we can go ahead and click next, next again, and then sure, we'll just finish here and it'll bring us to these pages. Uh, we can just go ahead and click off of them. This is good for now. And then we can go into our command prompt or our uh, start menu here. We can click Anaconda and you just go into the navigator. Also open the Anaconda prompt. So this navigator is going to take a while. It's going to load up a bunch of these uh, con.exe scripts and it's going to stop and it's going to, it's going to work after a little bit here. So what you can do at this point is sort of just wait. And then uh, after it's done, we can, we can test out Jupyter Notebook. Look right here. So we can go into our, so let me look around. Okay. We can go into our Jupyter Notebook right here, we go ahead and click launch. So on the other side here, it just showed just the directory that I'm in currently. And this is everything that's listed off here. So if I wanted to open this in the Anaconda prompt, what I could do is take this here and I could just go uh, Jupyter Notebook, just like that. And it's gonna start it up here in a web browser. We go ahead and drag this over and it's gonna do the exact same thing. So that's pretty much it. Uh, as long as you open it in the right directory, you'll be able to make everything work. What I'll actually do here is I'm gonna open a little project in uh, Visual Studio Code for you guys. You can see how this works. We're just gonna go desktop, I'll make a new folder. We'll call it uh, tutorial. And I'll go ahead and drag this in here. And let's just say I wanna make a, a, a test.ipynd uh, file, which is the Jupyter uh, file extension. So at this point we could just go like I don't know, import torch, import numpy as np, right? And then in this, we would go ahead and just exit out of that. We can just install everything in the uh, Anaconda environment. So we can, we can do pip install torch and numpy requirement already satisfied, that's great. So at this point, we can just CD into our current folder, which this is in. Let's open up a terminal here. So a desktop tutorial, go in there, CD desktop, CD tutorial. And then we could just run our Jupyter Notebook in here. And you'll notice that when this starts up, 
you'll just have our uh, test.ipynb in here. And when you load it up, it'll say the same as it does in Visual Studio Code. So that's how you start uh, Jupyter Notebooks with Anaconda, the whole process of setting it up. Uh, if, if this video helped you out, make sure to subscribe. You can always change your mind at any point in time. It's completely free. But uh, yeah, awesome.